All right, everybody. Today I wanted to show you what pack I'm going to be bringing out west uh, here in about a month for elk season. I'm going for a spike camp hunt, and we'll be staying um, out of a like a canvas tent, basically a base camp hunt, and we'll be uh, back and forth probably every night. We occasionally might uh, actually stay with elk if we can find them and sleep with them on the mountain. So uh, this pack here, big reason I got it was because um, as I'm kind of evolving as an elk hunter, I mean, last year we hunted um, where we reported back to our truck basically every day. And this year is gonna be a little bit of an extension from that. We're gonna be coming back from a tent every day. And we're gonna be about five miles from the road. Um, and I eventually plan on uh, hunting out of the pack. So I wanted to get something that uh, I could use this season and have plenty of room for everything that I need. And then also, if I ever do expand to that backcountry hunt where you're basically living out of your pack, I wanted something that uh, I wouldn't have to go out and buy another pack just to uh, meet those those needs. So I went ahead and went with the Alps Outdoors Commander X Plus Pack because uh, it's a frame pack for one. I'm gonna need it to uh, hold me. And this was the biggest pack that I could find for the cheapest price. This thing is $3.99 right now on Cabela's. I was able to find it on Facebook Marketplace from somebody that hadn't even used it. They were gonna take it out and I think their trip got canceled so they sold it for uh, about $300 is what I ended up getting out of it or what I paid for it. So um, I'm just gonna go over what I've got, not what I've got packed in the bag, but I just wanna show you my favorite parts of the bag, uh, parts of the bag that I don't like, uh, kind of just how I've got everything set up here and just give you my honest opinion on everything. So uh, I'll start with this this top portion of the pack here. Uh, it buckles down here on the sides and that kind of just keeps it in place. And um, and in here is your main main compartment of the whole bag. I don't know if I said it already, but this thing holds 4,000 uh, cubic inches, and that really doesn't do much for me when I see those numbers. I I kind of wanted to pack stuff in here uh, to show you what I've got in there and to show you that I've got plenty of room for what I've got so far. So uh, we'll go ahead and open up. Uh, this. There's a bottom portion to this top pack, and I've got stuff stored away in separate packs inside. but. Uh, you can see just a nice little area to hold. I'm going to hold batteries for my camera gear. Uh, you could hold, you know, stuff that you, you need quick access to in there. That's probably the best idea. And then uh, the, top, the top of that portion of the pack is a little bit bigger. And you can see in here I've got uh, lens. This is where I'll actually keep my camera that I'm using to shoot this video. I've got another camera. And I believe that's all I got in there right now, but it would be a great place to store food. Uh, it's pretty, I mean, you can see it goes to about my, then my hand there, that's how deep it is in there. So uh, it's a pretty good sized portion here on the upper pack. And I'm gonna, like I said, use it for things that I need to get quick access to. And um, we'll go ahead and look out here on the outside. Uh, this portion of here is attached again by two two straps and actually two straps on top two straps on bottom so this whole portion here can actually be detached from the bag I don't plan on doing that but something else that I that I've used this for already is uh, wedging my my bow in here I like the way it, it fits in here better than the strap that's provided but I'll actually run my bow down through here and you know the bottom cam will be sticking out here and then i'll go ahead and attach this back and then tighten it up and uh you know give it a good tug there like that and then it'll hold my bow a lot more sturdy than uh, what has been provided and speaking of that i'll go ahead and show you there's an actual like a, a loop that comes out down here on the bottom of the pack if you were wanting to attach a gun or a bow to the the pack you could use that to 
put the cam in or you could put the butt into the gun in and then run it up through here just like I just showed and the good thing about that is is there's plenty of areas plenty of loops over here if you want to attach your own strap like I have done here just for you know extra durability extra hold basically you can always run your own straps in there and just have extra hold so uh, we'll go ahead and open up this portion here Um, it's got a outside pocket that you could I've actually put my quiver in here and then ran this through my arrows and held it there if I'm if I'm gonna pack and be walking without you know where I need to put my bow in here because it doesn't quite fit right if you have the quiver on the bow it's hard to get it to sit right so uh, I've used that for my quiver that pocket there you can use it for a multitude of things but if you open up you've got um, one little area here that you can organize stuff in and then you can just lay stuff uh, outside in this pocket too but what i've got in here is more stuff that i can easily that i'll easily need to get to uh, this is just first aid kit and then i got my mini squeeze here for water so i'm going to keep those things on the outside like i said easy to get to and then i'll go ahead and get in to the main compartment here so you just uh, open that up there and it's got a nice uh, drawstring here to where if you want to tighten it down uh, make sure your stuff's not getting wet and it just kind of contains everything better so go ahead and open this up and I'll just pull out and show you what all I've got in here and show you how much you can kind of store in here so this is uh, this is gonna be my kill kit I've got like caribou game bags knives I've got quite a bit of stuff in here, so I mean, you can see it's pretty good sized. Um, I've got some clothes, two shirts here, long sleeve, and then a puffy jacket. Uh, it it folds down nice. It's not anything too big, so um, you could probably fit that in a lot. I've got an inflatable pillow, and I've got like a repair kit with an Allen wrench and just different stuff that I might need along the trip, like waterproof matches, different stuff that um, I won't necessarily need to get to right away. But uh, as you can see, there's plenty of room. I can almost fit my whole arm in there. Uh, a lot of room in there to store whatever you need. I mean, it's, uh, it's quite impressive how much stuff you can store in there. Um, here you can see there's a like a little chain in here with uh, a light I'm not quite sure what that's used for I don't know if it's just like a safety measure if you were to get lost and you didn't have any headlamps or anything but um, so that's the main compartment there's plenty of room that is the one thing about this bag for the price it's just it's hard to beat I couldn't find anything else under $500 with that much room in it and uh, I'll go ahead and get in to the side compartments here um, so in here you've got room you could probably put a bugle tube in here if you wanted but I've got a uh, water pouch here and then I've got filter for camp but you can see this plenty big enough pocket to, to fit a lot of things in over here um, the other side doesn't have one like that it's just this side only but you do have two um, almost cup holder pockets over here on you got one on this side one on the other side and those things are big I mean this is a, a what a 32 ounce bottle and you can barely see it so plenty of room with that you got buckles on the side to keep everything nice and tight you don't want stuff bouncing around off of your back so there's a lot of buckles on this thing on the sides pretty much anywhere anywhere you need one to tighten the load down tighten whatever you need down there's room to do that all over this pack so that's really nice um, I'll go ahead and go over to this side you can see I got my bugle tube in here and it's the same size pocket as was on the other side um, the cool thing about this pack that a lot of other packs don't have that I've noticed 
is it comes with an actual rain cover and I'd say this thing will do all right itself like if it was just sprinkling out and you know it wasn't a, a big downpour or a big storm but in the bottom of this bag down here below the area here where it has that uh, bump out for your your gun stock or whatever your bow all the way down here at the bottom there's a tag that says rain cover and it's attached down there by a strap i mean this is a really a genius idea so then you can just fold this over your bag say you get caught in a big storm and you don't want to get your pack completely soaked this thing folds over and it's perfectly designed i mean it fits the entire bag you still got a little bit of room so you could squeeze other stuff in there if you needed but i think that might be my favorite feature of this bag is it seems like everything was thought of and for a good price so i'll go ahead and bring that down here and it's really nice to it's not hard to fit back in there you just basically just stuff it down there and it'll go so um So you also got on the, the waist straps here, you got a couple big pockets on each side. I've got my rangefinder in this side. So it's it's about right to fit a rangefinder. You could fit one a little bit bigger than what I've got in there. Uh, but anything over the size of that, probably not real good. I think I'll, I'll keep some of my calls and maybe my wind checker um, or cell phone, wallet. Probably keep them up here. And in this side, same thing, same size pocket. And I've got a GPS in here right now, so uh, plenty of room. And you can see the sturdiness built in here in the backbone. The pad fits really nice. I've had this pack, it's got about 48 pounds in it, and I've hiked, I've hiked around the driveway. I haven't done anything extravagant with it, but um, from what I can tell, it's gonna be a pretty comfortable pack. Now the biggest downfall of this entire bag is that alone, without anything in it, it already weighs almost 10 pounds. It's like 9.7 ounces, or nine pounds, seven ounces. And I think it, that is the biggest difference between this pack and a $500, uh, a pack, you know, Mystery Ranch or something like that, is a lot of those packs come in around four to five pounds and this thing's twice the weight, so that part does suck but um, for everything else I think it hits the nail on the head and it does exactly what it needs to do um, I'll show you another feature here so if you were gonna uh, say you had an elk down on the ground and you need to get them uh, packed out here you can unzip this side and you'll have to undo the the uh, straps over here And then on top, there's a few more straps. You gotta unbuckle them. This whole pack, though, on the outside will actually separate. I could take this whole thing off and then use this frame only to haul my meat out. So, like, after that first load, you can go ahead and stuff, you know, whatever, a quarter in here probably. And then you could zip this thing back up, take all your stuff back to camp, and then, you know, drop this pack because you don't need all that stuff, that extra stuff anymore. And then just use the frame only and be able to haul maybe twice the size of the load. But I've yet to use this on an elk, so I don't have a lot of, uh, you know, negatives to say about it. I think it's going to do the job just fine. I mean, like I said, plenty of straps to keep everything locked down and I think that's pretty key but um, you know I've had no complaints with this thing so far and I think it's a great pack for somebody like myself that's only been elk hunting a couple years and they're kind of looking to venture out and you know not spend 500 to a thousand dollars on a, a pack they're going to use once a year so um, like I said I'm happy with it so far 
Um, if, if I have anything that comes up that I don't like about it, I'll probably leave it in the comments or I'll make a separate video on it. But um, hopefully this year I'll be using this thing to uh, pack an elk out and I'll be able to give a little bit more of a, a detailed review on it. But um, like I said, I think this is a good pack and a, a good starter for somebody like myself.